morning everyone. Let's start the discussion. Our company doesn't want to settle for less. So based from our previous meeting, we've decided... Sorry, I'm late. Mr. Kasai, why are you late? Okay, sit down. We don't have time to talk about that. Let's continue. Based from our previous discussion, our company decided to update the other companies of fast food, fast food chains here in the Philippines. So, Ms. Diaz, will you give us a recap of the causes and effects of the problem here in the company? Uh, based on our previous meeting, um, we all know that we are ranking number two here in the Philippines. And the main cause of this is that Jollibee serves more Filipino style foods and we serve Western style foods. And we have also false advertisements. And the effect of this is that the Filipinos prefer to buy Jollibee, the foods of Jollibee, than ours. And what was our chosen solution for this problem? Um, we decided that we will make new menus and that we will have combo meals to improve our sales. So how do we propose to do that? Mr. Nikoiko, do you have something to explain? Um, as our purchasing manager of our company, I assure that uh, the quality and the quantity of our our products is best and, and enough to the demand of our consumer. So, as we all know, the, the Filipino wants the rice meal, so we came up a new menu that will give us the strength that will be ranked at one on the sales. And let, here Mr. Kasai will introduce us what are our new menus. Here's the list of new food selections that are being as prepared and this might help to generate more income or increase the sales of our company and might make us number one the Philippines. So here in our rice category, we'll be adding tapsilog and tosilog. In our burger muffins category, we have here um, tocino burger with tomato cheese and lettuce with an add-on of hash brown. And, in our, and the next one is tapa burger with tomato cheese and lettuce with an add-on of hash brown. And lastly, for the burger muffins is adobo burger with... Mr. Kasai, are you sure about the adobo burger with hash brown? How will we do that? In our adobo burger, it's not, it's not really the literal adobo food that we eat at home but um, we're gonna imitate the flavor of the popona adobo into sauce and maybe add it to the burger. I think we should remove that one, that adobo burger with hash brown. Yes, everything on the burger muffins meal is okay aside from the adobo burger. Okay, so in our mac rice meals category, here we have fish fillet, spare ribs, bacon ranch with spicy chicken. So in our side dish for McQuig category, we'll be adding shake shake rice, um, shake shake chicken. But we have never um, thought, we haven't thought of the flavors that will be um, used in our in shake shake chicken. Uh, can I give a suggestion? Uh, for the flavors, uh, why not just add pepper, peppermint, uh, flavor, uh, cheese, and with the double burger, since it's already big, uh, what uh, side of the menu, why not just make it a flavor for the fries? That will be good. So, in our last category, which is the beans, um, we'll be adding milk tea, buko soda, and um, buko makdip. Buko Sunday and Buko Flow. In Buko Flow, it's we're not gonna use um, Buko Soda. Instead, we're gonna use the, the pure Buko juice. But I think that would be impossible to combine the Buko with a vanilla ice cream. What do you think? I don't think that would be good because it's not good for the health of our customers. And also, 
the book of soda, maybe you could stick to the book of juice, I think. Because we have a book, I uh, find apple juice on McDonald's and maybe you could add a book of juice. What do you think about that? So actually, I, that would be a good idea because why would we add really bubble soda? Bubble. That means we're adding bubble plus the soda. So why not just make it bubble juice with additional with uh, category of our pineapple juice? I think that would be great. Everything's okay, but we just have to yeah. We just have to swap swap off the bubble soda. When do we plan to implement this project? I have decided that if we could do this the next month, what do you think? I think um, it's better if we have two months preparation for this. And I was thinking that we'll set the date at November 12, 2013. Mm -hmm. And what's with that date? Um, as you can see, it's 11, 12, 13. So it's three consecutive numbers and people will get curious what's with 11, 12, 13 at McDonald's. So I was also planning that we have another marketing strategy to catch the attention of the people with 11, 12, 13. Do you have any suggestions of marketing members? Since we are introducing the only the rich industry in the company, we decided that we'll not make it a um, long scenario commercial where there is an acting person. Just a um, commercial wherein we just inform or catch the attention of our viewers. So we decided to make a kinetic typography. So this is the sample commercial that we're going to use. Enjoy. Some big news about McDonald's Little Tasters menu. Right now, you can get the hugely appetising, enormously enjoyable, immensely flavoursome Little Chorizo Melt for the rather small, tiny price of just one forty-nine, Or the massively pleasing, considerably scrumptious, vastly palatable Oriental Snack Wrap for the same pocket-sized miniature price of one forty-nine. McDonald's Little Tasters. Big taste for a small price. That's McDonald's and then some. That's a great idea. Yes, I agree with that. Well, that's good. Yes, that's a great idea and it's more practical. Yeah, I agree with it. And it's catching. Okay, that's great. Since everybody agreed with uh, a commercial, we're going to release uh, this commercial on November 5th, uh, one week prior to the release of our products, and the end date will be on November 26th. That will be uh, for a uh, whole of 30, uh, 21 days, and for the 30 second commercial, it will now cost us 500,000 pesos. And uh, we're going to air it to the Russian television for two times a day. That will be two times times 21 days of our airing. It will cost us for a total of 3,150,000 plus the labor fee that will be for 1 million, and that will be a total of 4,150,000 pesos. Mr. Marcel, that, does that include the three major networks in our country? Yes, I hope the, uh, it will come up with all the three major television uh, networks. Okay. That's good. Sorry, Miss Anita. I think their computation is wrong. Why is it? Um, they only computed for one network. They did not include the other two networks, which made that wrong. Well, this, since this is your department, will you explain it further? Yes, please. Five hundred thousand here is just for one network, but we need uh, three networks, uh, the three major networks of our country. So the total would be this amount multiplied by three, which is ninety-four million five hundred thousand. the budget proposal for this project as you started to discuss about the finance. Yeah. This is the budget for advertisement, 94,500,000. For, ano, for menus, we spent 10 million and for technicalities, 
least 2 million for a total of 107,500. Okay, the budget proposal was reasonable and maybe we could proceed to the seminars and trainings that we should do for each branch of McDonald's. Sir, will you discuss? Um, good morning, board members, and I am the lead of the admin department. And I am here to propose what plans I made to hope our company for further development. Since we are engaging to our new food choices in our menu, um, first thing to us is our crew are capable to prepare these kind of new foods and do you think they can they have an enough skills to cook with additional food in our menu? So I'm here to propose several trainings and seminars for our crews. So September 2013 training, this is a 4-day expense-free training and will be held on Sundays of September. All crew must attend this said training. Um, the objective of this training is to train all our crews to, um, to improve their skills in food preparation, especially for our new proposed foods. Where would be the seminars and trainings would be held? Um, since our branch is located nationwide, I come at an idea to place the training centers per provinces so it will be fair and convenient for our crews. Okay, let me continue. Um, so what is the methodology of this training? Um, this training is a four hour long and a two sessions in a day. So the crews in day shift can attend the night session and vice versa with the night shift crews. So budget. So since this is an expense free training, our department requests of a total amount of 1.8 million that can be distributed equally to each McDonald branches, McDonald branches to be used for some from other expenses of the training programs. Since everything was discussed well in this meeting, we come to the conclusion that we will push through to this project and I'll, I'm, I'm just expecting for upcoming updates from you, okay? So maybe I'll, probably I'll schedule another meeting next week. Good day.